everyone and welcome to Steel Division 2. We're in a very large 10 versus 10 match playing as the German 3rd Fallschirmjäger Division facing off against the Soviets and Allied forces. Let's go ahead and get our reconnaissance going. We're going to start off with some uh, Spey Troop and these sharpshooters here for our reconnaissance. I'm going to try to reach this tree line here in the meantime, I'm going to get some sharpshooters there. The Spey Troop. We'll get them in this town. It's a shame that there isn't a church in this town to get really good visibility from, but we will survive, I'm sure. Get another sharpshooter over here on the right side of town. Let's see if we can't spot up an intercept enemy infantry coming in. And our last Spey Troop will put... Rather conservatively over there, just to make sure we keep eyes on everything, no matter what. So we have some of these... I'm retarded. I might as well move. move these guys over here so they deploy a little faster. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. So we have one of these MG42 teams. We'll put him... Here. We have an LG 42. Pretty good little kind of assault gun. Not really assault gun, but infantry gun rather. Put him there. We'll get an MG 42 in town. We'll get an MG 42 in this building here to overlook the town in case we're pushed out of it. Let's go ahead and get some infantry going. Balsham Jaeger here. Put him kind of in the rear here. Get some FG 42 squads. The Storm Jaeger. These are very good infantry squads, and finally we'll get. Sniper squad over here on the right. And that should be good. Let's go. Yeah, we have this guy here. He looks like he's a very new player. Or maybe he's not. I mean, I could be totally full of shit. I'm a new player, but... We'll go ahead and get some flak up. Alright, looks like they're rushing in. We're facing up against the Red Army over on this side. Gonna go ahead and move over here again we're playing rather conservatively on this uh, initial initial movement okay our sharpshooters engaging them Pick up our storm jaeger over here oh we actually do have a church that's really beneficial let's get the spade troop into the church so he can spot everything around here Go ahead and get our Ultram Jaeger Fuhrer over here. Right, let's get more anti air up. Alright, we can get AA up. And I feel pretty comfortable in our current position. Let's go ahead and occupy this zone over here with two FG-42 squads. We'll keep them in the rear. Hope my team fills that gap over on the center right. It looks like some people are sending stuff over there, but not nearly enough. I shouldn't play defensively. It looks like it's just one enemy around this whole area. Let's go ahead and move up significantly. Yeah, there's no reason to hold back. 
to even move this MG42 into town. We'll place the Spade Troop dock there. Let's get some AT guns up. Get a pack 40 up here if we can. That might be overkill. Let's just get some of these short 40, 42 millimeters up. Getting in position over here. Let's go ahead and move up our Spade Troop even further. Yeah, it looks like this guy is spread really thin. We can probably push up here if we want to be a bit, a bit ballsy. Get our LG 42 in position. Little light air droppable support weapon. We don't have any artillery until phase B, but with this infantry gun we may be able to push them. Let's go ahead and get a sniper squad over here. Just, you know, planning this stuff out in advance. Good. Alright, storm them. Let's go right forward. We have a lot of supporting fire ready. So I feel pretty confident. Alright, here we go. Good Fallschirm Jaeger teams moving up. It's a bit ballsy, but if I can even move up to there, that would be amazing. We're about to encounter the enemy. There we are. down and they surrendered pull that unit back all right well we secured those buildings which is good secured a good little position here. It might be time to move up. I know that they have reconnaissance squads here. So we have our Sturmjäger and an FG-42 squad. Let's go ahead and move our MG-42 in position. Let's 
Let's go ahead and call in our commandant, put him over here. Move up our MG42. Alright, we're about to storm these woods here. I know there's an enemy recon team in there. We're gonna go for it. And there he is. Light him up with those FG-42s. Yeah, dude, those snipers are overpowered as shit. Just one shot, one kill. But he's done for. And we've secured that wood over there. Yeah, if we've got a gap in our lines, they have a big gap in their lines. This whole area is just one player. Shoot him down. We might be able to, I don't know. No, uh, not quite. He's going to make it, I think. Well, you can't have everything. It's one enemy down. We've secured a pretty good swath of land right here, but now they're moving up tanks. Should fall within our range. Yeah, I think we can take out T-34s with the anti-tank weapons we have available. Men around, armed with Panzerfaust 60s up here, so if they do get amongst the infantry, we'll stand a fighting chance. Where are they going? Alright, they're coming into fire from our LG-42. Let's see what those heat shells can do against it. Heating up over here. Let's go ahead and bring some Stubs up. And we'll get some artillery. Just a little bit out of range. Right, let's go ahead and light him up. Go ahead and what killed him? Oh, our friendly Pack Forty over here got him. Sneaky bastard! Right. Well, now we have captured uh, Kachushas. I think that's what these are. Mounted on the back of a German pack track over here. So we got them suppressed there. It's like this wood up here as well. I'm gonna get a Falschmiger Führer over here. Rockets are coming in. The rockets coming on this side as well. We will go ahead and get uh, some munitions in the center here. Looks like that pushed him back a little bit. We have to watch out for counter battery. So we'll move as soon as we're done firing these. These aren't really heavy rockets, but they're heavy enough. Gerlich over here is engaging them. One vehicle down. The 
We're doing very well over here on this front. Let's go ahead and bring uh, some supply to our ally. Oh man, we might be able to just absolutely annihilate that guard unit sitting there. Yeah, let's take him out. Let's get more reconnaissance. These, uh, Falschum... Panz Falschum Jäger Panzer Abwehr. So these guys have... Panzer Shrek, 250 meters range. That is pretty damn good. Get one of those over here on this side. I was looking at another one over there, even. Aside from that, they're looking pretty good overall. Go ahead and pull up this little recon truck a little bit. The recon half track. Get a stug there. And we'll hold one in reserve here. Oh, you see their counter battering will be fired for them. Let's go ahead and resupply my ally's gun since he's been doing a lot of help over here. We might as well assault this position. I mean, we have friendly tanks right over here, so I feel pretty comfortable going after it. We have so much infantry, I really can't afford to waste some. We have a, a shitload of infantry, I mean, look at all this. 17 cards of this, 4 cards of this, 8 of this. All of these are really good. This is actually my first time using this, uh... Using this division. And I'm quite happy with it so far. I think it's got a lot to offer. Oh, I didn't even notice what was going on over here. If we move the MG42, we should be able to engage him from that distance. over here for support. They're just spread so thin. We might as well take advantage of this. I do have a, uh, a Kubel radio spotter for a freaking piece of 380mm railroad artillery, so I might save up and use that on him. But that might just be complete overkill, to be honest. What is this? Oh, they're using heavy already on me now. Very well. I need to get some anti tank guns maybe here. We got a Sturm Tiger. What the? <laughs> this is Sturm, a Sturm Tiger just chilling out, vibing over here. Let's go ahead. I'll hit here with these buildings. And over here with the woods. I actually am going to call up an artillery observer over here. Alright, we got our rockets coming in. Go ahead and start moving up on them. He's 
lighting them up over here. It should keep them suppressed. That munitions out on all of these. Soon as we get that those points coming in. Destroy a guards unit. I think we're gonna be able to occupy this. Really clumping our stuff together, but I think it's worth it. Where did I ever move that Panzer Abwehr squad? Yeah, I'll, I'll get him to go into this area over here. Let's go ahead and throw a uh, heavy artillery barrage right here. And then we'll advance. 14 seconds until we got 8 rounds. 380 millimeter railroad artillery raining down on them over here. It's going to be quite a sight to see. Go ahead and get ready for the assault. Well, whatever is left in that forest cannot be that well off. That's ready. Go ahead and get more reinforcements over here for any men we lose. Yeah, there was some leftover infantry in here. We took them out easy enough. We're going to go ahead and throw a barrage over here. We've secured this zone pretty handily enough. We might as well push into this town. We're really, really overextending and getting a little risky here, but I don't care. We're going to throw a bombardment there. And 
engaging some Soviet troops over here. Three seconds until we get a heavy bombardment coming down on them. Oh boy. Just leveling these buildings over here. And the main guy we were going up against just surrendered. Got a big wall of Fallschirmjäger moving up over here. Let's advance. Honestly, this division is ridiculously powerful. I mean, shit. <laughs> Throw a bombardment. Oh, we need to move up. Oh, they got sick of that. Their artillery where I just fired from. Sniper squad's putting some work in. Stug is engaging his T-34 over here, and he's done. Good shot from the Stug over here in the town. See him burning over there. Go ahead and throw a bombardment here. Throw an ink down the team so we don't get any fratricide. We might as well throw one over here. The game's almost over, but let's go ahead and push up and advance on this little area here. End it with a good performance. Alright, we got our rockets coming in here. Suppressing this tree line for our friendlies moving by. We're getting hit pretty hard. Alright, that's got him running. Oh, they're throwing in one last hurrah over here as well. Let's pull back. Pull back into the woods. It wasn't enough. Even with that artillery bombardment we had thrown up earlier, there's just still too many Soviet troops in here. But we were able to contest it. The KV-1 moving up. It's too late for them, though. We completely took the left side of the map. So they're going to lose on tickets in about a minute here. Tell our guys to pull back. Looks like we're engaging an IS-1 with a Stug. That can't go well. Yeah, we should just retreat. Pull back. Oh, too late. He got us. Well, all in all, very straightforward game. We just pushed and pushed, got recon up, established forward positions, and everything went swimmingly. They were just spread way too thin to oppose us. Definitely, uh... Very good first game for this division. Very happy with this division. This game might have been sort of a pushover because there weren't many enemies in the way. But I can see if you get stuck against an enemy with a lot of armor, this might not be the best division. You really probably don't want to pick an area like I did that's very open. I only got away with it because the enemy I was fighting uh, was just spread way too thin, right? Let's see what the score was. 
Yeah, I mean, usually in this game it'll be like 2,000 killed and, you know, a couple thousand lost, 489 to 265. Very uneventful game, but overall I'm quite happy with it. Thanks for watching.